Okay, so a couple of people have asked me to do a review on the 67 Designs Bronco Rail. You can see here in my Badlands Bronco that I have the full rail, which runs the width of the dashboard inside of the inset. And you can see that it is attached here. Those are 3D printed. Um, custom made to fit that section and they attach with a small screw and a little bit of 3m tape underneath it now a lot of people or some people will steer clear of this rail because they're concerned about drilling a hole in their dash the reality is is once you install this rail you're probably never going to remove it so Probably not a big deal, at least it wasn't for me. The other thing is that you don't actually have to drill because they provide you with a self-tapping Phillips head screw. And rather than drilling, you can just take a little punch like this. Once you mount the test fit, the piece right here, you just simply punch a little hole and you don't even have to punch it through. You're just like getting a place there for the self-tapping screw to find its way. It's really simple, it takes seconds to do. You don't have to pull the drill out, um, like I've seen on some other videos, uh, questions in the forums, etc. This is really simple to install. It took about 10 minutes. Again, this is the aluminum rail. I bought the, uh, the base rail with the track balls, and the track balls are here. They're 20 millimeter track balls. You do have to buy the arms separately. You can see here I have the green carbon to match my Eruption Green Bronco. I've got a phone holder here. Um, the medium arms fit really well. They they barely extend over the edge of the dash right here. And if you look to the side, I mean, it's really close. You could use the long arms, which I did order and I did speak to 67 Designs about, but they do not recommend the long arms because the problem with the long arms is because they're longer, they do put a lot more stress on here in terms of movement. And you can see here that it does move a little bit when you're actually forcibly moving it. And even off-roading, you know, on really super rough trails, very little movement. Um, I've been running this thing for several months. Now, originally when I did order this, um, I was getting a little bit more play. And I reached out to 67 Designs and let me tell you, their customer service is second to none. They are fantastic. And what I did was they sent me these additional plates here. And you can see that um, I don't even have these screwed to the dashboard. That's just really strong 3M tape that they also included. Um, now this is separate from their regular build and maybe in the future after feedback from users like me, they may start to include these, but adding those additional tabs both here and here it really, really tightened this thing up and there's literally no play, no movement. But even without those, this thing was super strong, super stable for several months. You can see I'm running a phone mount with the medium arm. I'm running a uh, handset mount along with the magnetic mic for my Midland uh, 275 radio, which I actually have installed in the glove box down here. Um, Sorry, the light's very bad right there. But if you guys want a video on the Midland and how I've installed it in my Bronco, uh, leave a comment down below and um, I'll make one for you. So this thing attaches really well. Again, you test fit, you punch a hole, you use the self-tapping screw, 3M tape, you put the rail down. Here you've got two bolts. Now this, excuse me, two screws. This button head screw goes into the OEM a uh, screw spot that comes on every Bronco. And this is what really, you know, locks this thing down. This one locks into the rail itself. And then you've got the track balls here below it. So if I move that, you can see I've got a track ball there holding my GoPro mount on. And again, you know, I'm, I'm able to adjust these with one hand while filming. So it's not even a big deal. I run my Go mount, Pro mount here in the middle. It's really easy to move to get angles off to the left and angles off to the right as I'm on the trail. Um, again, phone mount here, right here. Really solid, made out of aluminum. Uh, really high quality components. I really, really like that. 
Again, another medium arm holding my Midland. And it just fits perfect right here in the dash. I still have access to all of my, uh, you know, sway bar disconnect, front and uh, rear lockers, trail turn assist, etc. cetera. Um, there, it's really easy and really simple to install. So again, if you guys have any questions about this, I'm happy to answer. And uh, really, really awesome piece of gear. Uh, worth every dollar, in my opinion. I spent $129 for the full Bronco rail with two 20 millimeter track balls. And then in addition, I had to buy the medium uh, arms and then the mounts separately. So, you know, it is a little bit of an investment there, but it's one that you're gonna use for years and years to come. It's gonna keep your gear safe um, while you're on and off the trail. So goodbye, worth checking out. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, happy to answer. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe so I can continue to share uh, these videos and I hope helping the Bronco community kind of find their way in terms of what to throw on their Broncos, learn from others, building community around, around the Bronco. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day.